Hi guys! Welcome back to my channel! Today I'm just watching Jeffree Star's Summer Liquid Lipstick Collection. Mm-hmm. These babies right here. I got them when he did a 50% off sale. Thank God, because these are like $75 only and that's the way too expensive for me for five liquid lipsticks that I wasn't even sure I was gonna like. Because I couldn't swatch them. It's not like you can just go to Jeffree Star's store and see if you like these products like you can at Sephora or Ulta. But, I wanted to try them, so I waited for the sale. Didn't know he was gonna have a sale. Wasn't actually gonna buy these. I regretted not getting the Christmas selection collection last year. I didn't want to regret not getting these. So yeah, here's my video on his collection. I hope you like it and I hope you enjoy watching. Um, I just want to say that these lipsticks are very similar in the style of the Wet n Wild ones. The Wet n Wild ones are not as comfortable and they run way more than these do, but it's the same style and these are way cheaper if you like them. Um, it has the same shape applicator and everything. There's, I think, four shades. I only have one of them. I just wanted to put that out there that they're a lot, they're very similar. The colors are not the same though. These are not the ones that I have. Okay, I'm going to start with, let's see. We'll start with this pink one here because it seems to be the most mm, safe shade. <laughs> it's in the shade 714. This is the Jeffree Star Balloon Liquid Lipstick. I like these yellow ones, tops. I wish I had gotten the white ones from the holiday set last year. And I also wish I had one pink one just so I could compare them. I'm gonna go ahead and put this on with nothing on my lips. Okay. Very runny. Ooh, it kind of burns where I'm cut. Ooh, ooh, that hurts. Ugh. It's a very pretty color. I think I heard somewhere that you're supposed to refrigerate them first. I don't have time for that. Sorry. It's a pretty color. It's kind of patchy. I don't know if you can see it. Maybe with the lip liner down first it would look okay. They dry quickly though, except for around the edges. Um, I'm going to try a second coat just to see... streaky really streaky I don't know if it's just this one I have swatched these before I don't know I'm not the biggest fan of this look it looks like you can see the ring can you see it it's like really streaky and mm, I don't know if I'm a fan let me get a new wipe Ugh. pretty color for summer. I don't know what eye look I would do with this, but it's a nice color, I guess. I guess I'm gonna have to try putting them in the fridge and see if that'll make a difference because that was not a good, not good for me, I think. Could be because they're limited edition. A lot of brands, when they have limited edition products, they aren't that good. Let's go for one, another kind of safe shade here. Yeah, this light purple lavender color. I'm gonna kind of, maybe it just needs to be mixed up. This is a very interesting shade. Um, I like it though. Oh, these smell like, um, I think, Strawberry Jolly Ranchers, I think you said? Okay. This is a much better application. So maybe that pink one was just bad. But this one looks much better. It's not streaky. It's not patchy. I don't feel like I need a second coat. Um, if I hadn't been doing lip swatch videos this whole time, it would probably look a lot better around my mouth. The other right now it's all red from where I've been doing swatch videos. Um, but yeah, see this color? It's really, really pretty. I would definitely wear it in like the winter time, um, it's really, or even the spring, I think it's really nice. With like a cool silvery eye, I think it would look great. Mm -hmm. 10 out of 10, like it, would recommend. Um, they're really comfortable, this one's way comfortable too. They're really light, they feel kind of like water. And they come off easily. And I think on his site, or on something I read, that came from him, like maybe the box that these came in, it said that they were kiss proof, but not makeout proof. So I guess if they get wet, or moist or whatever, they would come off, and that's true, they come right off. Um, let's try another 
daring color, I guess. This yellow. Oh, my mouth is so red around it. I don't think I'm gonna like this on my lips. But we gonna try it. I'll probably end up using it as an eyeliner. Oh, that would look pretty with the purple. Yes. Okay, let's see. Ooh, this one's a lot thicker. It doesn't smell as good. It's also really streaky. Yeah. This is a lot like that first one, not even texture-wise, but in like streakiness. It feels more like a cream. And it's drying really fast, and it's... not sure. I love the applicator. It fits perfectly on my lips. They're super streaky. When I rub my lips together, it doesn't look as bad as streaky. But I could not go out looking like this. It's really hard to get it in a precise line with that wand. Maybe with a brush it would look better. But just like this, mm, I'm not a fan. Ew, look at that. It's like clinging. Ugh. I don't know. Maybe it's just the shade makes it look extra bad. Or it could be a hard shade to make. Um, but this one's stickier too. You know, I'm not a big fan of this color. It'd probably look better as an eyeliner. It was off easy though. Or maybe I'll try putting it in the bridge. Like he said. That could be the problem. You can see it like stained. We got two more left. Ooh, this one's hard to take off. Oh, I did my best. I can't get that off. It's like stuck. Okay, see? Now this next one. I don't like this color. I already don't like it. I don't think it's gonna be very flattering. I think it would look good. If you did like a brown liquid lip and tapped it in the middle, um, just to like do an ombre effect, but I don't think this is gonna look good on its own. But we'll try it. Give it a go. I'm not sure how well it's gonna be. Let's see. It's very nude, but it's like an orangey nude. Who wears orangey nudes? I mean, maybe, I, well, okay, I guess on darker skin tones, this would look really good. But you have to be, like, tan tan to darker. Um, I'm pale. So I can literally, I don't think I'll pull this off very well. It is a little bit streaky. streaky but when you go over it it kind of helps um not a fan it's like a peach orange nude I don't like it very much no I don't like it it's coming off I don't recommend that color you can definitely do better I know he's coming out with a new nude color and he just came out with his lip ammunition like the lipstick ones Instead of liquid lips. I don't know if I'll try this. We'll see. Maybe if he comes out with a Christmas collection or something. Okay, last but not least, watermelon soda. My sister has this color too. We both love it. I've used it before. I love it. But I'm showing you guys just so you can see how nice it is. It is literally hot pink. It's a little watery. Um... It can be streaky, but just rub your lips together once and it's good. These are definitely summer shades. It's kind of bad that I'm showing you this in the fall, but it will live. It's so pretty. My sister wears this to work and she gets a bunch of compliments. I can wear this at my new job. I just got a job at Sephora, but I can't, couldn't have worn this at my old job. 
but yeah it's a really pretty color doesn't go with my eyes no sure doesn't but it's so pretty like i don't think i own a color like this in anything actually no tap on these sexer is kind of similar this one is a really similar color but this is a little bit more cool toned i don't know if you can tell the difference in the camera but yeah so that's it guys that was my Jeffree Star liquid lipstick summer collection review and swatches. If you guys like them, they're still available on his site. You can still go get them. Um, I definitely recommend the purple one and the hot pink one. This color, it doesn't, it doesn't flatter my skin tone. If you're similar to me, I'm like super fair. It probably wouldn't flatter you either. Um, the yellow one could be used as an eyeliner. It's a little streaky though. And this pink one is super duper streaky. I'm gonna try them in the fridge and maybe they'll work better. It's starting to feel a little bit dry. You can definitely see how dry it down it did, but it doesn't look like it's gonna budge and it's not too uncomfortable. I think it's just because I've been swatching all day. All right guys, well, thank you for watching. I hope you liked this video and I hope you keep checking out my videos. Subscribe to me and leave a comment down below. Um, like this video too, that would let me know that you like videos like this, and then I should keep doing them. Also, go check out my Instagram and my Snapchat, they're both Makeup My Smile. I am doing a giveaway on Instagram right now. So, if you go check it out, you can leave me a comment in your entry, and tell me what you would like to receive in the giveaway, and I'll actually get that for you. Okay? Thank you for watching. Bye, guys! I'm so sorry. I completely forgot to tell you the names of these. This one is Nude Beach. It's this color that I wasn't a fan of. The one that was really streaky was 714, the pink one, the light pink one. This one is in the shade Virginity, the purple. Watermelon Soda, I think I said that one. And Queen Bee is the yellow one. So yeah, I'm so sorry guys. I'm sorry that this clip is at the end, but if you made it to the end, congratulations. You got to see it. Okay, thanks. Bye!